1,000 pass yards and 20 TDs in his first season, joining Andrew Luck, Cam Newton, not bad company to be in, of course, and a Pro Bowl signal caller entering his sophomore campaign, Jameis Winston. Hey, what's up? House. Thank what's you. What's going on, man? Thanks Thank for you. having Thank us. Thank you. Slim. Jameis Winston. Yeah, you too. are looking lean. Hey, man, it is what it is. Getting you know in shape? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, Molly. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to dig a little deeper you here because you see, I know Tim Grover. Tim Grover and I go back a long ways, and I, I read up that uh, he, he's the reason you came, you know, you lost about 18 pounds. What would what, what you do to lose 18 pounds? I'm asking for personal reasons, Tim. How, how you lose 18 pounds? You know, hard work pay off, man. You know, uh, you got to work hard in off season. It was my first true off season yeah. uh, right. as, a, uh, as a player my whole life, really, because I always played baseball. Mm. So, man, it was exciting to get, it, get, uh, get in the weight room, uh, get in there with Tim Grover, man. He's a workaholic. Mm -hmm. You know, he's – He's always pushing me, always uh, making me strive for greatness. How different is training camp now in your second season? Uh, it's, it's different in terms of I'm, I'm very familiar with the playbook. Mm -hmm. You know, as a Ricky, you're trying to come in, you're trying to learn the playbook, you're mm -hmm. trying to get accustomed to the guys that you're around. But now it's just like, man, you know, this is my team. You know, uh, this is our team. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's fun. I can play more free uh, and be more chill. For me, I remember every time I would come into training camp, I would always try to focus on something that I felt like I didn't do well the year before. Coming into your the second year is a year you can make vast improvements. What are you focusing on in camp right now that you want to see play out in the preseason games and bring to the regular season? Uh, well, my footwork and uh, my rhythm. You know, getting the ball out on, on time in this league is is, is right. very big. You right. know, uh, you don't got enough time to sit there and, and hold a ball even mm -hmm. for two counts sometimes with these DNs these days. So just my pocket presence, feeling the rush, not moving too much mm -hmm. in the pocket, and uh, just taking what I need and getting the ball out on time. When we look at you, playing with this team. I want you to talk to me about coming into your rookie year. Everyone was talking about you, Mariota, Mariota, you. Mm -hmm. How did you view yourself? And did you pay attention to the comparisons walking into last season, your rookie year? Uh, no, not really. Uh, when, I, when I walked in here, my main objective was to come here like, man, this team won two games last year. We got to get some wins on the mm -hmm. board. You know, so that was my main objective to go and win. And after that first game when Mariota just <laughs> blasted me, I was, like, I was like, man, I got to wake up. You know, it's time to ball, you know. Right. And uh, we came back strong. Uh, I was blessed to have a great supporting cast. With, you just was sitting with, with Doug Martin, man. That guy can really tote that ball. Uh, had a great offense offensive alignment and, and a bunch of great receivers that, right. that work for me. For me, I just remember watching, like, you know, I mentioned in the break, I was like, if we're going to do it, do it big. Obviously, everybody's seen that, that pregame speech, but I remember coming in the last year, they had some, some veterans here that were talking about your leadership role on the team, and I think you're a natural-born leader. I told you I talked to D. Craig about you, and he yeah. was saying from the moment he met you, he knew that. That's how has you your leadership changed now that you're coming into your second year, you know the playbook. How are you dealing with teammates now as the starting quarterback? Man, it's the same mentality. You know, my job as a leader is not to just go out there and, and talk mm -hmm. and, and push guys. My, my job is to serve these men. You know, mm -hmm. so anything I can do to help them out, anything I can do to help them get the upper hand, I'm going to do that, you know, just to make their jobs easier. Because if I make their jobs easier, they make my job <laughs> right, easier. Right, no doubt. You know? <laughs> what are the kind of things you do, James? I mean, I, I want to know. I mean, yeah, because he's, he's, here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're young. Right. You were a rookie last year, so you're supposed to be carrying bags. You're yeah. supposed to be doing a lot of different things, right? Yeah. But you're the quarterback. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's everybody's best interest to make you happy. Yeah. So, I mean, how, how exactly did that work? I mean, what were you willing to do as the star young quarterback for the franchise who was also a rookie? Man, it, it was so easy. You know, because uh, I always live by real, recognize real. You know, mm -hmm. so you got to be genuine with, genuine with these men. You right. know, you can't come out here and, and, and be their friend one day, and then the next day you mm -hmm. act like a whole different person. You be right. yourself, you know, and, and they respect that. You know, you have conversations yeah. with everybody. I'm not just having conversations with the Jerry McCoy, even though he's right. the best player on our team. I'm having, I'm having conversations with Jacob Sean, my punter. Mm -hmm. You know, let him know, hey, man, I need you to pin this ball inside the 10-yard line, you know, yeah. so we can get good field position coming back. Right. You know, having building relationships yeah. and not just building relationships with your teammates, building relationships with, with, with your PR people, mm -hmm. building relationships with your, with your, your, your janitor people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and that's how you build that family culture. And uh, I feel like that's what we had at Florida State. And I, and I can see that happening here. Let me transition this subject to the NFC South. Because before you got here, I'm not going hey. to have you try to backdoor me. I'm going to beat him to it, Jason. Yeah, okay. It was coming. I'm going to bring him to it, it was coming. Okay. All right. We got in an argument because – 
The question was, where do you rank Jameis Winston within the NFC South? Now, real knows real. Mm -hmm. So, I had to put you last. Okay. Because we're talking Drew Brees. We, and, and so, it's talking Cam Newton, Drew Brees, and, and Matt Ryan. This man had you second. Mm -hmm. I think it's because he's here. Yeah. That's why I think. Talk to me about What they going to do me here? Man, I respect that. I really thank you. I, I appreciate that. And, but, you know, like I said, hard work pay off. You know, this is year two in the league. I, I, can't, I can't expect for you to, to put me up there with, with those people like that. Cam Newton, this man just came off the Super Bowl. Matt Ryan has been a consistent quarterback in this league. And Drew Brees is, is going to be a Hall of Famer one day. Yes, sir. You know, so it, uh, my time will come. You know, my main focus is, like I say, is to get these wins up here at Tampa Bay. You know, uh, get everything going uh, internally with our team. We're not really focused on uh, the NFC side right now. I'm pretty sure when the season time comes and who, people, <laughs> right. people well, just so you know, we only talk about this year. We want to talk about the future because we yeah. know the future. We only talk about this year. Don't try to backtrack. I'm not being honest with them. You're not being honest with them. You're not being honest with them. No, no. We talk about this year, but right now, this year. But let me ask you this and then I'm going to go to them. You thought about Mariota and you saw Mariota do what he did in game one and you said, I got to get it on. So if that was your attitude watching Mariota from one game, what's your attitude as a quarterback for this franchise when you think about what Drew Brees is probably mm -hmm. going to do week mm -hmm. to week, what Matt Ryan is capable of doing, what Cam Newton undoubtedly in all of our eyes will do? What's your mentality when you compare yourself to those guys in terms of how you have to perform? I got to go out there and compete. You know, because me personally, I don't think that those guys got anything on me. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I just I believe that he won that day. You yeah. know, when I'm going out there and, and competing against these guys, this is football. You know, this ain't uh, like basketball when you know the Warriors going to go out there and blow somebody out. You know, if they playing uh, the Utah Jazz yep. or somebody like that, this this is football. You know, so if Tell I can, them again, if this can, is football, man. Can, Any given Sunday. <laughs> yeah, if we can win football. that day, we, we got to win. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Carolina Pilots, they were undefeated until Atlanta won that day. Yep. You know, no one would think that they were going to get beat by Atlanta. So that's how it is. You know, it, it's really forcing your, your will upon another man. And uh, I tell you what, man, if you're going out there and competing and you can get your teammates to ride for you, you can beat anybody. Yeah. And we showed earlier your rookie numbers were pretty much identical to Cam's rookie numbers. Also, we showed that. Right. So here's my question on a smaller scale from where Stephen A was going. You talked about the first week against Mario. And I'm a defensive player. And I look at things from a defensive standpoint. What was different about defense in the NFL, especially early in your career? I mean, because you did play in the second best, yeah. you know, football conference mm -hmm. in college football. The second yeah, best. Yeah, when the first I was, best was yeah, SEC. Yeah, when, <laughs> I, when, I was, when I was at Florida State, uh, we would beat anybody on any conference. You know, when I was there. <laughs> uh, sadly, the only game we lost was against Mariota. <laughs> I you know? was there. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm just messing with you. But the deep. But, you but know, early, like you say, you talked about the first game. Well, you know, I, I'm just going to take you back to the first the first pass that I threw. Uh, mm -hmm. was a pick six touchdown. Right. Uh, that was one of the first times I've seen two men uh, in my, my career. You right. know, we didn't even uh, practice that at, 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 at practice. You know, okay. we weren't anticipating them playing two men. Right. But that happened. But the thing is, it's not about that, that, that first game, you know, that first game jitters or somebody that, that come up. But, no, nah, the thing is, is uh, you put that behind you and you go to New Orleans in a, in a tough atmosphere and you get your first win as a rookie. You right. know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. what, what defines you is, is how you bounce back and not not really your downfall. Mm -hmm. But one I thing like we, we go by here is uh, we, we always got to uh, we 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 learn from our mistakes. Right. You know, and uh, and that's what I've been doing. I did great. Cam job. Newton busted onto the scene. I mean, he's been here for a while. Don't get me wrong, but he just, took it, he just took it to another level. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he's the league MVP for a reason. He deserves it. When you see what he has done at his age. Being who he is, what? How does that inspire you? Just, I'm just talking about from a positive standpoint. Looking at Cam Newton, African American quarterback, young as he is, gifted as he is, and literally allowing it all to reach fruition, doing what he's doing. Man, I personally can give uh, Cam Newton some credit for me being here in the position that I am in now. You know, me being a kid from Alabama, seeing his mm -hmm. man play at Auburn, mm -hmm. uh, growing up, you know, wanting to go to Auburn just because he went there uh, and seeing the adversity, the adversity that he faced uh, – just coming, coming out, and everybody just scrutinizing and saying this man can't throw the football game. But all I see is see is this man winning football games right. and lean his team. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm always a big fan of Cam Newton, and that just motivates me to be myself. You know, people don't, people really don't take in the fact that you need to be who you are. You know, if you this type of person, why are you trying to act like another type of person? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be who you are. Be true to yourself and your teammates will respect that. You know, and that's just how life is in general. We got so many people in society trying to be, you know, superstars and be yeah. fake. Right. You know, be, be, be yourself. Amen. Yeah, be the they best you. Amen. Yeah.
Yep. No question. Definitely like your mindset there and the Good. confidence. Oh, last question. Yeah, yeah. I got one more. Go for it. Lovey Smith is gone. I want to know how did that hit you and how do you feel about Dirk Cutter being your new head coach? Man, it hit me so hard. It hit me hard, you know, because as a, as a rookie quarterback, you're not thinking that you're going to lose your uh, your head coach the first year. And I had a unique bond with uh, with Coach Lovey, him being an Af- African-American head coach, you know, mm-hmm. and I really loved that. And I really – I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't had this since Little League football when my dad had coached me. But, you know, there's no other man in this world that I would want to be my head coach other than than Coach Cutter, you know, because the, the fire and the passion that that man has for the game, you know, I would do anything for him. That – him, he was the reason why I was out there, you know, third and 19 and was willing to run, you know, to get the first down for him because I know that he just came from Atlanta and he don't want to lose to Atlanta. You know, mm-hmm. he just came there. Mm-hmm. I, I will fight for that man. That man has has pushed me ever since I've been here. Uh, he's going he's gonna to continue to lead this team, and I'm going to continue to follow him. Good. Jameis, thank you so much. We appreciate the I time. Appreciate it was, it was great having you up here. Up next, come on out. We have Tampa Bay Bucks linebacker Levante My David so joining great. us. Yes, More sir. first take with Bucks camp in a moment. Right, yeah, Stay here. Yeah. Right. That was great.